April 14, 2024, Daily Bread. Passage, Proverbs, chapter 30, verse 11 through 33. Key verse 32. Title, Don't be proud or evil. There are those who curse their fathers and do not bless their mothers. Those who are pure in their own eyes and yet are not cleansed from their filth. Those whose eyes are ever so haughty, whose glances are so disdainful. Those whose teeth are swords and whose jaws are set with knives to devour the poor from the earth and the needy from among mankind. The leech has two daughters. Give, give, they cry. There are three things that are never satisfied, four that never say enough. The grave, the barren womb, land, which is never satisfied with water, and fire, which never says enough. The eye that mocks a father, that scorns an aged mother, will be pecked out by the ravens of the valley, will be eaten by the vultures. There are three things that are too amazing for me, four that I do not understand. The way of an eagle in the sky, the way of a snake on a rock, the way of a ship on the high seas, and the way of a man with a young woman. This is the way of an adulterous woman. She eats and wipes her mouth and says, I've done nothing wrong. Under three things the earth trembles. Under four it cannot bear up. A servant who becomes king. A godless fool who gets plenty to eat. A contemptible woman who gets married. And a servant who displaces her mistress. Four things on earth are small, yet they are extremely wise. Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Hyraxes are creatures of little power yet they make their home in the crags. Locusts have no king, yet they advance together in ranks. A lizard can be caught with the hand, yet it is found in king's palaces. There are three things that are stately in their stride, four that move with stately bearing. A lion, mighty among beasts, who retreats before nothing, a strutting rooster, a he-goat, and a king secure against revolt. If you play the fool and exalt yourself, or if you plan evil, clap your hand over your mouth. For as churning cream produces butter, and as twisting the nose produces blood, so stirring up anger produces strife. Daily Bread Message People are tempted to be proud in different ways. Children are tempted to curse their parents who took care of them. People are tempted to be self-righteous and judge others endlessly. Other people are tempted to look down their noses on others. Some people are tempted to use words like sharpened weapons to cut down the others. People are tempted to abandon humanity and have no pity on the poor and needy. Some other people always demand more, no matter how much they receive. How are you tempted to be proud or evil in ways such as these. The world is full of things good, bad, and awesome. We need to have wisdom to discern the good and reject the bad. We need, most of all, to guard ourselves against becoming proud and doing evil. We are all sinners and are tempted. We need to pray for God's help and protection. Prayer Father, lead me not into temptation. But deliver me from the evil one. One word, resist the temptation to be proud and evil.